Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Zelda Classic, Flow of Time. Last time I'm still peeking the gosh darn mic. Let's try that again. Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Zelda Classic, Flow of Time. Last time we found our way to the East Shrine and kinda gave up cause I was confused here. And we would kind of reaching past the half an hour mark. Today, I have figured out off camera what we must do. We have to defeat these Dark Nuts, believe it or not. Despite the weak fact that we can progress without killing them, that actually kind of dooms us. Well, not doom us, but makes it so we can't progress any further. Strikes me as strange that he would let you go on further when a later room doesn't open up unless you kill these guys. So just... That's strange, but whatever. It's nothing inherently weird. I mean, the fact that there's a locked door in here should hint off, hint to you the fact that you need to kill these guys. I didn't think about it. I just thought it was strange, but whatever. Now that that door has been opened up, oh, hmm, <sighs> freaking Stalfos. Hopefully, the thing is still closed, or I mean, open. Alright, continue. Let's make our way back over there because... Not die this time to, um, Starfos because... My word, those Starfos are... Crazy strong. They're like... I want the red tunic strong. Alright, so yeah. As you remember before, these blocks were up and I couldn't go in this portal. But because we killed the Dark Nuts, we can go in this portal. Alright. So now we are in the past. Let's see. Oh, hello, his robes and levers. I don't particularly mind you. Blue robes, on the other hand, aren't too bad either. Although, ooh, these gifters could be interesting to take down. Actually, no, I should be using. I should be using this. Wow. Even if all my fa. Eep! Eep! Oh my gosh, so much money! So much money! Get off of you, freaking creep! Don't take my money. I forbid you from doing so. If you are dropping a lot of bombs. Just straight. Oh, that didn't open up. Hmm. Strange. Hey. hey. Alright, so let's down here. Obviously the past desert. Okay, so now we're in the past desert. Hopefully we can make it to the pyramid, wherever that is. But everything looks nicer, which for once makes sense. Good thing I got all this fire clip. That's gonna make taking care of these undead enemies significantly easier. Now maybe and maybe I won't have a Gibdo stealing all my money. So that's just not appreciated when that happens. Ooh, a blue repeat. Um let's see, I can't go there. Not mean to transition screens. Let's see what's down here. I don't think the pyramid's gonna be down here, but you know what? I wanna see what the rest of this desert has to offer before we try to find the pyramid. Alright, can't go over there because I can't jump. So let's head up this way, I suppose. Oh, well, there's the pyramid. It uses the, uh, well, seems to be based off the Link to the Past tile sets. You know, in Link to the Past, the pyramid that was in the center of Hyrule, and you fought Ganon. Eh, whatever. Another switch. Can I hit this with my sword? Yes! I think it made that chest up here. I'm not sure. I wasn't paying too much attention. But whatever. Let's go grab that chest, nevertheless. Heading up here. Over to the right. Right? If freaking red rope skull thing. Ooh, a potion! A red potion on top of that. Ouch. Freaking. Get hit by all the things. Brilliant. Okay, good. Uh, another switch. Not sure what that did, but that did a thing. Although though I, hmm, there was one. Was there was one other switch I saw? So perhaps I have to hit multiple switches to make something else happen. But I need the ability to jump to hit that other switch. So I guess we're not doing that quite yet. The Mystic Tomb, Faor's Pyramid. Alright, so let's see. Ooh, 
regular of these things. Don't kill me, please. I would appreciate it. Yeah, I, I, I should have figured. I should have figured they wouldn't mind or even listen to the fact I said not to kill me. But whatever. Let bygones be bygones, and let's kill them ourselves. I need to stop being reckless. That's what's getting me killed. Being reckless. Ah, right, you're dead. Oh, uh, let's go to the left first. We have these guys, which I can use. I fired the kill, and they took an armos. Let's go up, since this door was locked. If You give those again. Money thieves! Get away from me! Thank you. Hmm? Oh, ropes. Or skull ropes. Whatever you want to call these things. So what's this giving me? Oh, a bunch of torches. Interesting. Oh, they have my candle equipped. Uh huh. So I have a feeling that somewhere else in this pyramid is the combination to that. So let's come back for that later. And let's head down and see what that gets us. Ooh, fall down. Oh, almost, apparently. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh, these things! The masters of pain and suffering! Oops. Let me do that. Oh, gosh. Yeah, please stay away from me, you master of pain and suffering. Oh, just a bunch of ropes. Nothing to be afraid of. Unless you're Indiana Jones, in which case you're afraid of the ropes, because they're snakes, basically. Hello, Mr. Gibdo, you stay away from me! Right, I am picking my audio. Whatever, let's... let's... go explore other parts of this dungeon before heading that way, like... What's... oh, you guys are back. Of course. Die! To my blade! Thank you. Ooh, more red rupees. Wow, you dropped a lot of money. Gip those, eh? Again. Shouldn't be too difficult. So, up here, I bet, is probably where that combination is. Die, you undead. Those. Right. That's locked. Got it. So let's go down. And... I can't do anything there either. Alright. So I'm going to meet you guys where I died, because that seems like a good place to meet you guys. Alright guys, I am back. You kid the Gibto, that killed me. Ah, uh, sweet, sweet revenge. And I killed your friend too. Hey. So, no. That doesn't do a thing. That doesn't do a thing. That doesn't do a thing. Not a thing. Not a thing. Another thing. None of these are a thing, apparently. So... These are suspicious. SUICIDAL! Nope, nothing. Gosh darn it, those almost look suspicious, though. Why did they not give me anything? Ooh, bunch of almost, though. Eep, red almost. Alright, a green almost. I can handle the... And another green one. Thank you for being... Weak. I appreciate it. Eek. Yeah, another one. Die. Gracias. Die as well. Can I let you? No. Do I... Hmm... Do I need to use my... It's so weird if I have to, do I need to use my... No, okay, good. It's a lot of... Uh-oh. A lot of torches that I can't light. Which strikes me as strange. Maybe I get a better candle in here as well? Oh, crap. I need a heal. Again? Ugh. Um. Alright, thank you for dying at least. So what's down here then? Because, hey, I need to... 
Find something? No. Staircase. Where's this lead me? Right here. And that simply serves as a shortcut back, I guess. Alright, whatever. What's down here? That's what's important. A bunch of buzz blobs? Oh, that's easy. Okay. I say as I enter critical stage health. Hmm. Weird. Oh my word. Lots of armor. I'll meet you guys back here again. No, let's see what's up here first. Oh. Hmm. One of armos. Although that one spot's green. Strange. It's. Oh. Two green armos. Nothing to worry about. Oh, magic jar. That's strange. Although, uh, that one spot being green is suspicious, so I'll head to the almost room on the other side off camera real quick. Yeah, so I'm back in that other, okay, almost room, and let's investigate, like, right, aha! That done did the thing. Hooray! I'm not quite sure what, but it did a thing. Ouch. I suppose we shall see what it did later. I'm gonna head back to that other room I died, which was down this way. I think I found out what that almost room did. Right, so let's watch this. This is important to watch, because this will get us the combination, I think. I hope. I'm already starting to forget it. Right, so I'm quickly gonna write this down somewhere. Oh. Do that off camera, of course. Alright, I've now got this written down. So I should now be able to easily see it from just about anywhere. But we now need to get back to where the freaking pain causes of doom and suffering are. These guys. Oh, so much pain and suffering. Oh, the earth. Oh dear. <laughs> you freaking almost come back here. I'd really appreciate it. You son of a gun, I really am not locking this room more and more by the second. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh boy. I think I know what that did. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Let's... Ouch, so let's kill these guys again because they are freaking nuisances that need to die. And let's go and use that torch tom combination thing we found out. Up here. You! Staffos! Bomb! Square head things! Die! You're already dead. Thank you. I appreciate it. Give those! You can go burn! Kill it with fire! That's what I say. And the Zaphos... Not the Zaphos. You ropes can just leave me alone. Let's see. Let's grab my combination out so I can do this. All right. Let's see. So first I do you. Then I do you. You. And then let's see. This one up here. Then you got this top left one. I mean, excuse me, right one. That was number five. This six is up here. Six. This one right here. And then we have eight and nine. Something must have happened in another room. Oh. Okay. In that case, I'm gonna head on over to another room. And see if we can find out where there is. Although I think I have a pretty good idea where. But first, we have to kill these things. Because apparently, these things are set to respawn indefinitely. Which, as you guys probably know by now, I'm not the biggest fan of. But... What can you do, huh? What can you do, other than not play this quest? Wait, am I, what am I doing? I need to use my flames, not my sword. Gosh, freaking dang it. 
stupid Starfalls with your explosive bombs of doom and pain and suffering and death and other adjectives that go along with that. Yes, and then red lops of beam shootiness. I'm just being random at this point, and I'm not liking it. Thank you for dying. I appreciate it tremendously. Give those I. I'm getting tired of dealing with you, in all honesty. Thank you. I appreciate your death, and won't come to your funeral because you're dead, and you are my arch enemy. Oh, oh, jeez. Okay, well, that could have went better. Alright, so that's down. Let's go ahead and just press F6. Because I feel like that would be the better option. And let's... Let's just head straight up. Ignore these red lobsters of laser shootiness. Oh, good. That worked. Ah. Looks like we're not done yet in this place. Of course. I was hoping this dungeon would be smaller, but I guess not. Okay, I really just need to focus on beating these guys so I don't get hit. And end up taking a bunch of damage. Um, let's go this way first. Oh. Just a few- ouch. Red snakes. I mean, ropes. Hush! Mm, I'm dead. Okay, I'll meet you guys back here. Alright, then I'm back. Let's kill these ropes this time. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Once you got the pad- oh boy. Let's hope Orange is on my side today, huh, guys? Okay, so far so good. Be respectful, Orangey. I respect you. Not really, because I... Actually, I use you all the time. You're an extremely helpful tool. Jeez! Yes, Orangey, I respect you, freaking... Oh, boy. Yes. Thank you, Orangey. I appreciate... Oh, for the love of Pete. Oh gosh, no. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you freaking almost drop hearts? Like, why? All right, let's try going this way this time. Oh, it's a bunch of. Green ropes, and I'm gonna die to these, aren't I? Hmm, magic, let's pick that up. Die to my fire! Thank you, what's up here? The other side of the... Excuse me, almost room. Eeh! Oh boy. Oh boy. Eeh, gained! Alright, so, I'm pretty sure fire doesn't harm Ormos, but I could be wrong. <gasps> it does! Yes! Burn! Oh, burn my fires, please! I would appreciate it tremendously. Thank you! Eh! Maybe did! Eh! Crap nuggets! Ugh! Yeah! Oh, hey, would you look at that? Just have to go through at least four Ormos to get that chest. Peachy. Absolutely peachy. Alright, I'm back this time, and of course, the red almost. Trying to fight red almost in confined corridors is not easy. You're gonna be red almost, aren't you? Of course, you're red almost. Why wouldn't you be a red almost? Alright, what's in this? A key! Okay, good. That's that's. That, I think that's something I need. Uh, hmm. Yes, I think I'm just gonna do F6 because I believe that would be the safer route, in my opinion. Because so that way I don't have to go through more Armos. Because Armos are not my friend. They are a terrible creature, not even creature that haunts my nightmares. I suppose. I don't know. Mentioned by the way, you might have noticed I'm at 500 rupees now, which happens to be my max. So that's awesome. That is actually pretty awesome. Now, if I remember where there was a store where I could. Oh, that's right, it was the um, Five Wolf Pass. Pretty sure there was like a stuff I could buy for 500 rupees. I don't quite remember though. Alright, let's see. Let's choose you. 
Bad choice. Oh hey, you went down without too much of a fight. Oh crap, two armos. One fast, one slow. Okay. Good. Eep! New! Oh, fudge nuggets. Okay. Okay. Can you guys tell I'm not a big fan of, uh, Armos? There's one left, and of course it's a freaking red. Alright. Alright. I have a pretty good idea of what that did, and if it is what I think it did, I should be able to just head straight up. Not have to deal with anything. Yes, excellent. I'm assuming this is the top floor. I assume and oh jeez. Oh god. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I I'm gonna be using these. Okay, you're dead. And you're dead. I'm not even grabbing that money, I don't need it. Oh, sh crap. Magic Boomerang! Boomerang failed me. The Boomerang failed me. Alright, let's try taking on these red um, ropes again. Hopefully, with much greater levels of success, which it looks like I did. And that isn't even open. Okay. One of you are hiding a secret. Ooh, the seeds kill them instantaneously. That's good to know. Except. Alright, so that looks like it's not going to work. So let's head on over this way. And see if there is something else over here that. Okay, hey, these guys. They're actually significantly easier. And then when they hit me, they do a crap load of damage, but... Ugh. My word, that is indeed a ton of damage. Right. I... Hmm. Alright, I'm back in the room with all these ropes. And hopefully I'll be successful in murdering ice, murderizing them all. Come here, you. Thank you. I appreciate your patronage to my bank of death. Alright. Is that the thing? If I suspect what it is, it probably opened up the room on the other side. Now, appears to be a wind rope, which means... This thing will send me back to the entrance, I think. Alright, so let's let's head back down. Although, because I died, I'm pretty sure the lobster things and ropes are probably back. Which would be very much to my dismay, because the lobster things, yeah, they're a freaking pain in the butt to deal with. They just do a lot of damage, and attack in all directions, and move kind of radically. A great formula for pain and death. Okay. So I'm not talking a whole lot. This is. Oh, wait, I don't even need to kill them. Alright. Did I. Did I make it? Please tell me I made it. You found the Pharaoh's boots. These boots were blessed by the goddess Pharaoh with their. With their power, you'll be able to jump using them to depletes your magic meter, though. Use the maneuver and obstacles you couldn't get around before, but watch your magic meter. So, if I do this, I can do this. Nice, but it does it actually consumes quite a bit of magic. Hmm. Well, then I know where I'm going. But you're still here. Alright, thank you. I appreciate your death. A lot. Alright, so over this way, there was that little uh, gap thing I could jump over. Let's... Oh. Right, go back. So I'm... Oh, I'm just gonna meet you guys back here for health. 
Alright, I am back, and it's time to... With full of health... Kill these things. Oh jeez, that was a ton of explosives all at once. Ouch. Don't walk away from my fire. My fire wants to consume you. Alright, so let's kill these... Ropes again. Alright. You're all dead, and I'm... Also, almost dead. Let's just, uh... Kill these whiz robes and... Be careful... Just to not get hit. It's probably always killing the wind robe, because those things can be annoying. Alright. That should be just about done here. Alright, uh... You. Thank you for dying, and now just to put my... Newfound boots. Let's see what's up here. Chest! With the enchanted key, use this to unlock the Ooh, with this you can... Oh, I can open up a golden chest. So I think... I am going to... I think I found a golden chest somewhere before, and I don't quite remember where it's at, but I think I remember where it's at. Where it's at. You know what? Hmm. I'm going to try using that golden key to end off today's episode. So yeah, this has been a, I guess probably a shorter than normal episode, but you know what, I don't care. I think there's a golden chest, like, in there, I think? Or like right here, I don't quite remember. We shall see when I get there. Alright, so if this is the golden key, you'll see it. But it does not look like it's going to be the case. I mean, the golden chest. Now this takes me back down here. Hmm... Remember there was a golden chest I found somewhere? I don't remember how I got to or where it even is. So I'll look for that off camera real quick, guys, and I'll come back to you guys when I find it. Alright, so guys, I'm not sure. I don't remember where I found the golden chest I was able to get to, so I guess... I won't be getting a golden chest this episode, but in a later episode, whenever we find one, I'll be sure to grab it, because we have this, uh, nifty new key. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. We got the Pegasus boot, or Faor's boots, and the enchanted key, which should allow us to, the Faor's boots, anyways, should allow us to continue exploring the desert and hopefully can make our way to the next dungeon. Anyways, guys, see you guys then.